I am Chaplain Lieutenant Clayton Barth, and on behalf of the Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office, thank you for being here for the end of watch memorial service for PSD Bain. Please join me in an opening prayer. Father, as we are gathered today, we just look to you for comfort. Father, we look for you in, in just a, a time of memory and a time of service. Father, we are thankful and grateful that we have this opportunity to be here today to not only mourn, but to show honor to all those that are fallen and to our friend. Father, thank you for everything you have blessed us with. In Jesus' precious name, amen. At this time, it is my honor to welcome Sheriff Jeff Easter. Well, good morning. I appreciate uh, everybody being here from the uh, canine units that uh, posted uh, out front. Thank you very much uh, to all the officers and deputies from around uh, the, state the state that have attended, came. to the commissioners that are in attendance, uh, and to uh, Chief Sullivan. So I appreciate your attendance today. So this is kind of different. Uh, won't lie about that. Uh, but we need to do the best we can to honor a member of our family. You know, when the canines are first selected, uh, there's a special bond that is developed uh, between that handler and that canine. Uh, and that bond uh, continues through training and become closer. But there's another bond that's, that's formed, and that's with the family. Uh, and uh, there's two families suffering here today uh, because of the loss of Bane. Uh, Bain was trained uh, by uh, Officer Gum. His wife and kids are in attendance tonight, today, so thank you very much for being here. And he did a wonderful job of training Bain. Unfortunately, he passed too soon, uh, and the police department offered to uh, give us Bain because we had an aging uh, canine ourselves. And so uh, Deputy Brooks uh, was the one assigned to Bain because he had been around him longest. And Bain did a wonderful job working for us. Uh, I can't explain enough uh, how much uh, Bain did for this community. Uh, from the amount of drugs he sees, the trackings that he did, the, officer, or the deputy the protection, protection stuff, stuff that he did, uh, it is uh, amazing what those canines do and how much they help us. Like I said, uh, it is a, a sad day today um, for numerous reasons. First off, we lost Bain, but it brings up memories for the Sheriff's Office of other people we've lost. Uh, and it brings up bad memories for the Wichita Police Department because of what they've lost uh, in both uh, Rooster and Bain. And so we're here to honor all of them, including Daniel Gum today, who started Bain's journey. Tyler, I, I know this is very difficult. Um, it's like losing a part of the family. I know your kids are, are wondering what's going on, uh, and I don't have a lot of words of advice for you, except you'll have to work through it. But, but we're here for you uh, in anything that you need. On November 16, 2023, Bain and Deputy Brooks responded to an officer in trouble call to assist the Wichita Police Department. They arrived in the 2200 block of South White Oak Drive, and Bain was deployed into a drainage pipe in an effort to apprehend the suspect whom had fled from officers. While deployed inside the pipe, a struggle with the suspect ensued. Bain became in incapacitated during the struggle and ultimately lost his life in service to the citizens of Sedgwick County. While he lost his battle, Bain's service above self will forever be etched on the hearts and minds of the officers and deputies who served alongside him. Rest in peace, Bain. We will have a short video of uh, Bain uh, with his dog handler. So thank you again for being here today.
If you can, will you please stand and join me in a moment of silence? Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that we get to spend with each other in memory. Father, thank you for a just this time, just memories, this time of grief. And Father, I pray for each and every one that is suffering that is in need. Father, you are wonderful to us. We thank you. We know that you are the ultimate comforter. And as we come to you in this time, you embrace us. You watch over us. And we are so grateful for that. In Jesus' precious name, amen. This concludes the memorial service. Thank you all for being here.